right. Uh, la, 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 Let's watch some Patrick CC. Drink water. 23rd, 2021, 23rd. YouTuber Trevor Jacob uploaded this video called I Crashed My Airplane. The video starts with Trevor holding his- Oh, this went crazy viral. I heard about this, but I don't know what happened. His best friend's ashes in a Ziploc baggie. His plan was to fly this- That's meth. Plan was to fly this plane from Lompoc City Airport in Southern California to Mammoth Lakes, California to snowboard, paraglide, and spread his friend's ashes in honor of his adventure-filled lifestyle. However, this plane did not make it to Mammoth Lakes. It crashed into the Sierra Nevada mountains after Trevor ejected himself from the side door. Luckily, Trevor survived and secured the footage to be able to tell us this incredible story. What he didn't realize is that this video was the main source of evidence that the federal government used to put him in prison. Is this video still up? I crashed my... I, I typed in I crashed and the third shouldn't cops up as Asian Andy. I crashed my plane. Let's see. Uh, no, it's not. It's not up. Most people are smart enough to know that they shouldn't film themselves committing a crime, but this wasn't even the first time Trevor's videos landed him in jail. Trevor's very first photo on Instagram is a picture of him train hopping in East Ohio. This photo was taken in 2012, while Trevor was filming his journey to Oh, duh, of course it's Ohio person! Skateboard across America, starting in New York City and trying to make it all the way back to Los Angeles. Uh -huh. The only way he would be able to get to a new city is by hitchhiking or freight hopping. Like many other train hoppers, Trevor would hide out at the train yard and wait for the staff's shifts to end. Then he would secretly board a train and ride the rails until they stopped or reached Hi. the next destination. I always wanted to do something like this, but I, uh, I, I really enjoy my time in Austin, Texas, and I love my friends, and I don't want to, um, you know, I really just enjoy everything around me. I don't want to, you know. They wanted to stop at Woodward, Pennsylvania, a world-class weekend retreat for skateboarding, BMX, scootering, gymnastics, and all other action sports. It was during this trip that Trevor Jacob accidentally made skateboarding history. He landed the world's first double backflip on a skateboard. Oh, shit. However, skateboarding legend Danny Way says that this trick is technically not a flip. Way said that it's truly an off-axis frontside 720, adding there's a big difference in the approach and rotation this between is the flipping and spinning off-axis. But Trevor was not able to defend his trick because he was sitting in jail. After Trevor left Woodward, he jumped back on a freight train and headed west. While passing through Alliance, Ohio, the train stopped and some workers discovered him and his buddy Taylor Woods hiding under a tarp on a Norfolk Southern train. They were arrested for railroad vandalism and criminal trespassing. After spending two nights in the Stark County Jail, they got out and jumped right back on another train, and another, and another, until he finally made it back home. This particular Damn, trip was, was cool. not the first, nor the last time Trevor train hopped. I can't tell you not to freight train hop, but if you do, don't film it and don't put it online. It's, it's way more hassle than it's worth, um, but uh, they've actually forced me to, to delete. 99% of the videos that I've had on there, court ordered. He doesn't do this because he is homeless with no money. Train hopping is more of a way of life, a rebellious act of defiance. Did anyone ever read that, what is that book's called, The Boxcar Children? Did you guys read that as a kid? I, I couldn't even bear to even look at those books that sat on my desk for six months, that's complaining, because I, I just genuinely, I, I can't read. So I was just like, why the fuck are these books on my desk when my WoW cups are right next to me and I have to play Four World of Warcraft? Buff, weird buff. That's five subs. Defiance and pursuit of freedom, performed by punks who are typically not looking for work nor interested in being a part of society. However, it was this exact lifestyle that earned Trevor a career working for Travis Pastrana's Nitro Circus. Nitro Circus is an action sport collective that travels the country doing live events performing stunts for large stadiums Whoa, or fans. This was created by Travis Pastrana, professional Pastrana. motorsports competitor and stunt performer. Travis Never invited lovely. Trevor to be a part of the Nitro Circus team from 2013 to 2014. Trevor spent a lot of time with the collective. He also helped Travis film his movie, Action Figures. This was an energy-packed, 
high octane film filmed yeah. with the craziest stunts performed by the most badass. But I've seen something like this before. Trevor Daniel fit the bill as someone who can pretty much do Is it an OTK video? Skateboard, BMX, snowboard, skydive, dirt bike, you name it, Trevor can do it. He wasn't too interested in traditional sports like basketball or football, but I am. Commercial success through action sports. <laughs> oh, it skipped his ad. Oh. <laughs> Oh, whoops. Ever to get back into his first passion, snowboarding, as he was about to qualify for the 2014 Olympics Tomato. in Sochi, Russia. Trevor grew up on a ski resort in Mammoth Lakes, California. His father owned a baseless binding company that would... Oh, that looks like the most cozy place in the, in the world. Look how cozy this is. You've got snow. You've got lights. you got pastrami. This place looks so cozy. This looks beautiful. It's like a... This is what Disneyland should look like. This is beautiful supply local shops but those are some fucking ugly ass wood desk bullshit these are so ugly all right i'm getting five subs i'm sorry those are just so fucking ugly i can't why are those out in the street ah oh, fuck that's 10 subs damn it that's 15 now we're at 20 Trevor spent his entire youth shredding the mountains and busting out insane tricks. At age 7, he won three gold medals in the USASA Nationals. At 13, he became Please. the youngest half-pipe finalist ever at the Happy US birthday. Open of Snowboarding. Wow, At age 16, fuck? he secured a cover of Snowboarder Magazine in August and September of 2010, landing himself a Nike 6.0 and Oakley sponsorship. He was a snowboarding prodigy. From 2010 to 2012, he placed top 5 in various Dew Tour and Grand Prix snowboarding events events, including a first place in halfpipe at the Burton AM series. But Trevor could not fully commit to one sport. Snowboarding wasn't even his passion. He just grew up on a mountain and didn't have much else to do, and knew that he was really good at it. Not to mention the countless injuries. He claims to have had suffered at least 25 concussions from taking massive slams on his board. Dude, I looked something up yesterday, chat, and I wish I didn't. Oh, God. So, apparently... Having, I didn't know this, having concussions can change your life forever. I never knew that. So I looked this up, and I, I didn't really look it up. It kind of just, like, showed up as I was, like, going down the rabbit hole of, like, what problems I have. And I had a concussion. See, like, what the hell? I had a concussion when I was a kid when I tried doing a backflip, and all of a sudden I started hearing Donkey Kong Country in the back of my head, right? And ever since then, I felt dumber. And I was, like, five years old. Hey, you look great, man. Have you had Botox? <laughs> I legit think that I got really dumb when I was young by hitting my head on a diving board. I I think that because people always wonder, like, you know, like I go to like 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 I I I I talk to people and they're like, "Are you are you that word that I can't say?" And I'm like, yeah, I, I definitely am that word that you can't say. But I'll say it for you. And then they're like, okay. I do think I have problems, right? Um, and I think those problems rely on the fact that I did a backflip, hit my head on the diving board, and resulted in a concussion that I never got treated because I – Exo Ariel, that explains everything. Yeah, I, it's why I like your fucking content, Exo Ariel, okay? <laughs> like, what do you want me to say? In 2012, he simply quit and embarked on his train hopping yeah. slash skateboarding across America journey. After this trip, he ran into his I've actually been right coach, there. That's crazy. Mike Jankowski, who had connections so Trevor could train with the men's USA snowboard team. But Trevor wanted to try a new event, Border Cross, which is a downhill racing event with twists, turns, and jumps to test a snowboarder's board control. Dude, speaking of new sports, what the fuck is going on with pickleball, chap? It has taken over the world. It's taken over. Damn it, that's complaining. Fuck, that's complaining again. It's like white people already had tennis, and they thought that they, they're like, all right, let's let's make it an easier version of tennis for us this time. Like now that we're older, now pickleball is like yeah. blowing up everywhere, and every single fucking mom that I've, every single mom and pop is trying to play this goddamn game now. It's it's true. It's all <laughs> like we're you know it it it's it's crazy. Pickleball's everywhere. Is anyone playing it? Um, yeah, it's just fat people. Of course it is. It's it's you don't have to move. It's the kid in gym class that thought he was good at athletics when he really just fucking was a fat fuck. That kid. Um, your Kobe clone video Yo. was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen.
Is this it? You got to bait it. At that camp, Jacob was wild, rough around the edges, Smile. and didn't fit in with everyone on the team. Many of the riders felt like he didn't deserve to be there. However, on his first official event, Grand Prix from the Canyons Resort in Utah, he secured a first place victory. From Drake. there, he struggled in future events, but came through when it mattered the most. He won his first World Cup race in Valnerd, Andorra, and was the second US man named to represent the Olympic team. And I couldn't really believe it. I just kind of dropped in and, um... And we wanted to see what would happen, and I got down first, and yeah, here we are, I'm so excited. Trevor Jacobs went from child Drake. prodigy, to train hopping, to nitro circus, and now the Olympics. He proudly represented his country in Sochi, Russia. Unfortunately, he needed a top 8 placement to make it to the SBX finals, and he got ninth, missing his chance Ooh. to race for a medal by inches. To make matters worse, the next year, his best friend and That's adventurer like the e Johnny- You call me addicted I'm hanging on your lips I don't wanna quit us We trip too good on this oh, I got you under my skin Shit and tights and all that you been You are messing with my head And I'll keep dancing on the Strange sadly passed away during a base jumping accident. Johnny lived a very similar action-packed nomadic lifestyle. He Holy became shit. the youngest person to climb the seven summits, which are the highest mountains in each of the seven continents. Johnny studied what was called the base jump death list, and he would meticulously analyze everything that went wrong with other base jumpers. Sadly, he would find himself on that list on September 28, 2015. Russell. Johnny Nine. base jumped off the Alpine peak of Mount Gishin in Switzerland. To put it simply, he was just unlucky that day. A combination of an unlucky jump and an unpredictable gust of oh, wind God, had this him shit scares the crap out of me. too fast, sending him straight into the mountain, dying on impact. Johnny's passing destroyed Trevor. He struggled with depression for many years, but it didn't make him afraid of action sports. It actually made Trevor want to live a more risky and more ambitious lifestyle in honor of his friend. He quit all professional sports by 2016 and lacked consistency in his life from there. You wouldn't be able to tell now because he deleted most of his YouTube catalog, but he was uploading very consistently at one point. His freight train hopping videos were among some of the most popular. For many years, he just maintained his relationship with the Nitro Circus crew. He participated in Travis's second movie, Action Figures 2, and yeah, no would work on and off whenever he needed money. He was always down to do wild and crazy stunts, but he lived his life chasing his next adrenaline high. This is common for hardcore action sports athletes, or rock climbers, daredevils, or some general outdoorsy people. They spend just enough time within society to make enough money for food, minor expenses, and travel and spend as much time as they possibly can outdoors doing what they love. This cool. clip pretty much summarizes Trevor's mentality towards life. We're human beings. We have the opportunity to lift up and we can go north, we can go west, we can go east, we can go south. We can go any direction when we want. If you want to change your life, you're not happy with your life right now, you can and you have the opportunity and the power to change it right now. Typically those who lead these nomadic lives. Wait, what's this video? Oh my god, I did see this. Actually, the most disgusting thing I've... Mm, hi, chat. I actually don't know if I could show you it. I don't know if I... It, chat, I'm not... It will change your opinion about... I, I'm telling you. I don't know why she did this. You could just see what it is. Chat, it's so gross. Like, Ariel, what were you thinking? <laughs> Ariel, what were you... I, I chewed a hundred pieces of gum. Ariel. I... You, I <laughs> it's my own gum. Oh, wait, it's your own gum. I bet you I can. Challenge is accepted. Now, to swab your DNA Yo, clone, you, you had to figure out exactly where you are. I saw you putting your DNA on a wall full of chewed gum. I then did a Google search for gum wall. I then did a Google search for gum wall! 
Styles struggle to maintain relationships or structure. At Check any up, point, they will just up and leave or make a drastic change to make themselves feel better. Sometimes when thinking that selfishly, you forget how that affects the people around you. And one I found day, her Trevor gum! I then took it! decision so dangerous that it landed him in prison for multiple years. The video titled I Crash My Plane was uploaded on December 23rd, 2021, but the actual crash clown took place thumbnail? one yeah, month it was prior. Fucking sick, dude. On November 24th, 2021, no, Trevor care. Daniel Jacob arrived at the Lompoc Airport with his best friend Johnny Strange's ashes in a Ziploc baggie. He wants to take his friend's ashes to his favorite mountain and spread them in his honor. He also mentions that the YouTube video he is filming is sponsored by Ridge, Ridge Wallet. Wallet's nice. Around 9.30 a.m., nice. Trevor Jacob takes off in his single-engine Taylorcraft BL 65, an aircraft in poor condition that he purchased for very cheap from its previous owner. He reportedly attempted to work on the aircraft himself, despite not being a licensed aircraft engineer or mechanic, which is illegal. Trevor also has a parachute specifically designed for skydiving strapped to his back. Pilots do not usually carry parachutes let alone these What's ones. That CBS receipt? In the cockpit, a fuel line can be seen attached to the fuel selector, not plugged into the wing, a result of his shoddy work on the aircraft. At around 10 a.m., he is flying at an altitude of 10,000 feet when he says that his engine fails. Holy I'm over the mountains and I get out an engine out. But before he even says that his engine fails, his door is open, and he had already been looking down for a minute or so instead of trying to assess the problem inside of the cockpit. He begins pulling the yoke to slow down the plane and stop the propellers from spinning. Every aviation expert has said that this is the Finn! exact opposite of what you would want to do Finn! in this situation, and takes a considerable amount of effort to actually stop them from spinning. Normally, the protocol for a pilot to follow during an engine failure is to angle the plane for optimal speed to glide through the air for as long as possible, and during that glide time, search for a place to land safely. Trevor does neither of these and instead stops the propellers. Why? The only explanation would be for dramatic effect. There are also several visible safe places to land his aircraft, which is designed for off-field landings. But it seems as if he never tried to handle the problem in the cockpit. Instead, he immediately decided to grab his GoPro, jump out of the plane, and parachute to safety. Falling in the sky, he has a choice to make. Does he float to safety in civilization near the valley, or does he land in the dense brush on the mountainside to retrieve his GoPros? Instead of maximizing his chances of survival, he decided to land in the bushes to retrieve the footage. After about a 20 a minute walk in the demon. mountains, Trevor found the aircraft. But the more you analyze the footage, the more unlikely this story seems. After he deploys his parachute, the video cuts between three different shots. A shot of Trevor holding the GoPro he jumped with, two shots of the plane doing a death spiral from the GoPros that were attached to it, and a shot of the plane from above. How am I supposed to p compete with this kind of content? Dude, this guy's putting out the craziest, best content ever. What am I supposed to do? Like, I Ariel, you know what? You gotta come over. Like, I, I don't know what to say at this point. I gotta compete with this kind of stuff. Oh, fuck. I'm complaining. God damn it. That's a complaining again. Damn it. Fuck. That's 20 subs. But this above shot is incredibly confusing. You could see how much further below he is from the plane. So how did the plane all of a sudden get that far below him? Trevor claims that while he was parachuting, he pulled out his GoPro and filmed the plane as it fell to the earth. Jeff Harris explained that the only possible way Trevor could have gotten this angle is if he jumped out of the plane and moved 4,500 feet horizontally while only losing 800. Eyes wide open, got my mind all over, and I to end, no, and when we're older we pretend we're sober, so I'm living it out, feeling so high, and oh, I want to figure it out before 100 feet in elevation, which is right. impossible, That's not a good to mention that these above shots are perfectly stabilized and smooth with the plane in the center, and they rotate on a perfect axis, never dipping in elevation. Under no circumstance would that plane hit the ground before him. He fell for 3,500 feet in what people estimate to be 20 seconds before deploying his parachute. That specific plane is known to glide really well, right. so the shot of the plane from above would have been impossible unless right. it was shot by a drone or chase vehicle operated right. by someone else. 
Jeff Harris's theory is that Trevor jumped out of the plane, landed safely in the valley, got picked up by his friends, and used that drone footage to locate the plane. Then the next day, did another flight and another jump near the crash site to recover the footage and act out an entertaining YouTube video. But the evidence doesn't stop there. As soon as he lands, he struggles for a, That's bit, a lot of trying effort. to get Good himself out of the brush. We get a black screen that says 20 minutes later, and he is now filming with his phone. Then it cuts to GoPro footage without his bag on his back, then back to his phone, then back to his GoPro. Although it's unlikely to have cell service out there, why would you waste phone battery filming when there's a mere chance you could use it to call someone? He says he always free. Dude, these are the kind of guys that Jacksepticeye was complaining about, where they're just doing too good of content. Like, what is this shit? Like, I, how am I supposed to compete with this kind of crap? Like, this guy's doing drones, flying, all this crap. Ah, this is insane. You can fly with a parachute. Although he has multiple videos of him flying with without a parachute. You can also see that he is carrying a gun. Pilots carrying guns is not typical, unless you are extremely paranoid. But when you are entering the mountains with dangerous animals, it makes sense to carry. So it's almost like he knew he would end up in those mountains. The rest of the video is him just trekking through the mountains miles and miles away from civilization. But only seven hours went by and somehow farmers located him. These farmers just happened to be driving through the mountains, off-road, and they were wearing all black and skateboard shoes. The video ends with Trevor completing his mission of spreading his friend's ashes on the top of his favorite mountain to paraglide. After Trevor posted this video, immediately every pilot and aviation expert every pilot on YouTube, and Gold. YouTube assessed it and gave their thoughts. All of them agreed that based on this footage, Trevor did nothing to try and save that aircraft, and most likely had full intention of jumping out of that well, plane while letting back. it crash on purpose. And it turns out... They were right. On November 26th, 2021, Jacob informed the National Transport Safety Board about the plane crash, two days after Snitch. it happened. The NTSB immediately launched an investigation. The Federal Aviation Association also began an investigation. He was told he was responsible for preserving the wreckage so that they could analyze it. These investigations are extremely important so the professionals can learn what happened so that it doesn't happen to anyone else. However, in early December, Trevor lied to investigators and said that he did not know the wreckage's location. Any he was dumb enough to post a YouTube video proving he did in fact know where the wreckage's location was. On April 1st, 2022, less than four months after the video was released, they sent an emergency order to revoke his pilot's license. The FAA determined that Trevor operated this flight to purposely crash, using his YouTube video as the main source of evidence, specifically violating a federal aviation regulation that states no person may operate an aircraft in a careless or reckless manner oh, come on, so he was as making to good endanger content. the life or property of another. Once this news broke, the story was being told on a national level. To the YouTube daredevil who has now had his pilot's license revoked, the FAA saying he intentionally crashed that plane in his viral video. Will Reeve has more. In response, Trevor posted a video called I Lost My Pilot's License, in which he reacted to the news in a very strange way. I'm sorry if I offended you, but at the end of the day, you're the one that chose to be offended. <laughs> <laughs> After watching this video, Yo. it really proves Trevor is pathetic. He decides to go down the they were trying to sabotage me route when it's so obvious that he staged the video. Even though his license was revoked, justice was not served. Chat this investigation was not over. As you can imagine, the USA has extremely strict laws regarding air travel after 9-11. Purposely crashing a plane is a felony, and the federal government started their case against him. In the meantime, Trevor continued to live an adventure-filled life. Base jumping, skydiving, a lot of his videos are now deleted, but he continued to upload ones despite the comment sections absolutely destroying him. In July of 2022, he posted a video titled, I'm sorry. In this 45 minute rant, Trevor does not apologize. He says that he didn't intend on hurting anyone or making anyone angry. I didn't think that everyone would perceive it the way that it was perceived. I didn't really know how it was gonna get perceived, but I definitely didn't think it was gonna make people angry. He rambles on on how he isn't a bad person, but the internet made it seem like he is one. Yeah, then right. Vice put out a 20 minute documentary that celebrated Trevor's life. He addressed the allegations there. Whether I completely did that I've on always purpose you, or whether it was the scariest most terrifying accident that was completely non-intentional the world may never know the smile on his face tells it all but we don't need to guess because nine months later his legal counsel advised him to take a plea agreement and trevor finally admitted to his wrongdoings 
On May 11, 2023, Trevor Jacob agreed to plead guilty to a felony charge for obstructing a federal investigation by deliberately destroying the wreckage of an airplane that he intentionally crashed. Uh -oh. According to the plea agreement, on December 10, 2021, Two weeks after the plane crash, Jacob and a friend flew by the helicopter to the wreckage site. There, Jacob used straps to secure the wreckage, which the helicopter lifted, and carried to Rancho Sisqua in Santa Barbara County, where it was loaded onto a trailer attached to Jacob's pickup truck. That's Jacob a then lot drove the wreckage Dang. to Lompoc City Airport and unloaded it in a hangar. He then cut up and destroyed the airplane wreckage, and over the course of a few days, deposited the detached plane parts of the wrecked airplane into trash bins at the airport and elsewhere, which he admitted in his plea agreement was done with the intent how do you, to obstruct how do you, federal authorities how do you from do investigating that? the November 24th plane crash. The press releases have all said that he is facing a maximum of 20 years in prison, but we know plea deals are strategic. If they did a full-on trial and he was found guilty, he might face that maximum, but he is essentially cutting his losses. The minimum sentence is just a few months of probation. Trevor does have a prior criminal record, but ultimately his fate is in the judge's hands. His sentencing will Wait, happen worth. a few weeks from now. If the judge sentences him to more than 24 months, he can appeal. And when we find out, I'll update in the comments what Oh, you don't even was. tell me! It's unlikely this was all a stunt for a Ridge Wallet sponsorship. Trevor has not been one to ever care about money. His whole life has revolved around documenting his crazy, adventurous lifestyle. He genuinely believed that nobody could get hurt, and that abandoning you couldn't wait his two weeks? would be the I'm gonna complain. badass You couldn't wait two fucking done. weeks Even to tell Trevor me the actual information? Guilty, it's yeah, pretty this obvious damn video he now? think he did anything wrong. But he has a lot of time to think about it, because his next big adventure is going to be sitting in a prison cell for many years. Maybe. We don't even fucking know. God damn it. That was a fucking waste of our time. <sighs> We're back to what's more important. The OTK and friends. Now, who's in the world of friendship for OTK today? I don't even know at this point. Who's our friend? I don't know. Who's on first? I don't know. Like, I have no idea. There's. We'll find out who's in the OTK crew. Who's joining OTK today? And what's happening with the OTK and, Yo. uh, it, you know, is Co Carnage going to make an appearance today in the OTK and Friends? Like, I, I, is Fousey going to somehow make it? Males, we'll find out. Hello! It's me, Mario! Who are you looking for you? Really? Yeah. Well, I am here. We found you. Huh? I straight up thought that was S fan. Yes. Great job, man. Thank you very much. Yahoo! <laughs> See ya. Oh. That's a really good he tried punching you. That's it. Dude, he was so nice good block. That was crazy. <laughs> it was actually Wait, perfect. Like, me off yeah. Yo, now everyone's trying to do Mario's voice now that the guy retired. They're trying to take his job. I think that was actually Mario. I think that was him. That was amazing. Okay. 